Touch your neighbor and say neighbor. In case you don't know this, God's favorite number is seven. And tell him I got a word with seven letters in it that's going to give you a perfect victory. And tell him when I spell that seven letter word. If you don't get excited, I got to cut you off for a month. Tell him I want you to be with me, but you got to be in my corner. Tell him those seven letters are V-I-C-T. his hand. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. I ain't gonna say who it is, but somebody in the front two rest better, better dance be for the next two minutes so you can be cured of diabetes. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You don't dance tonight. You going home with that diabetes. See? One, two, one, two, three, help! Because we are preachers and prophets and bishops, we are not exempt from disease. Or should I say dis-ease? But God said any of you that have been carrying something in you that's personal and you need God to alleviate that and take it away from you, you got 30 seconds to do battle with your feet. One, two, three. Ah! Listen, I want to close. We have two more dances left, but let me put some purpose on it. No one in the scripture ever qualified for double until they could give God their best praise in their worst situation. If some of you follow instructions, it's like the word for dance in the Bible is choreo, the root word for choreography. That is exactly what dance is, choreo. And to have choreographed, you need a choreographer. You need a coach. Here goes 101. You will dance, but you will need space because you're going to dance like you're fighting or ducking. But your dance has to have some fight move in it. Even if you pause, get swaggerific with it. God said, as you're doing that, every demon that was attacking you will flee. You will have 60 seconds. One, two, one, two, three. Ah!
one more dance. See, some of you have no endurance because you never expected to fight. Be healed, man of God. Because of your dance and your obedience to the word of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The last dance are for folk who will dance like you're fighting to let the devil know you should have never touched my children, my marriage. Even if it failed, get angry about it. Repossess my car, got me evicted. Made me go through stuff that was not my fault, but I took the blame. He said, 30 seconds of you dancing without being pretty, but you're serious about never having to go through this again. He said, by 12 midnight, the rest of the Philistines will flee. You've got 30 seconds. One, two, one, two, three. just said something simple to me he said they take this as just having fun they don't feel the prophetic urgency even for your mother you better feel the prophetic urgency because in the truck I saw her die but I stayed quiet I stayed very quiet that's why she wanted the coffee and the donuts. That was like a last meal request. But in, that's why I told you tonight I was going to dance. I told you in the truck for your mother. You takasa, be careful. Let me say this. The Lord said this common sense statement to me. Then I'm only letting 10 folk dance who need miracles. He says, the easiest target to hit is one that won't move. Some of you are going through hell because the devil knows where you're going to be. And he knew you weren't going to move tonight, clap, run or shout. God said, but if you fool him tonight, he'll be gone by tomorrow. You got 30 seconds, one, two, three, back!
the music stops, you have a mouth. You have a mouth. Use your lethal weapon. Hiya! Use the mouth. You don't need the music. Use it. It will change the battle. Yeah. Yeah. 